This video is not for people under the age of 13. Hello everybody and welcome back to BC's Doll Place. Today I will be showing you one of the newest additions to my doll family. This is the 60 Years of Midge doll that was released last year by Mattel. She is part of the signature collection, more specifically the gold label. Midge is a collector's doll. I bought her for £32.49 at the entertainer. The original price was £64.99. I couldn't believe it as I've been after this doll since it was released. Let me tell you a little bit about Midge before proceeding with my review. Midge was first released in 1963. She is Barbie's first and best friend. This doll is a reproduction of the original Midge doll. Midge married Ken's best friend Alan in the 90s and became the centre of a rather ridiculous scandal in 2002 when a pregnant Midge doll was released. Apparently there were concerns about it promoting teen pregnancy. Funnily enough, I actually owned this doll as a child. To me, she was a fun and creative doll. Said controversial Midge doll made an appearance in the Barbie movie portrayed by Emerald Fennell. Let's get back to the review. Midge comes in a windowless box. Its design is simple but elegant. It features a grayscale photo of Midge with her name written across it in lavender. The box is white and lavender with black accents. There is a black and white graphic in the left hand corner that reads 60 years of midge. The text on the front of the box reads genuine silkstone body Barbie signature 60th anniversary midge doll. The back of the box has a blurb that reads Barbie Midge Doll celebrating the friendship anniversary of Midge and Barbie two forever friends creating memories since 1963. This is what the box looks like with the lid removed. The interior is lavender. I appreciate that Midge was secured inside of the box with white ribbons as I found it a lot easier to undo and twist ties and other methods of holding a doll in place. Midge came with a stand. Unfortunately, Midge fell out of it a lot during the making of this video. One thing about the stand that I do like is that it has Midge's name embossed on it. Midge also came with a certificate of authenticity and this piece of paper that has some tips on it for looking after a Barbie doll with a silkstone body. Here is Midge out of her box. Isn't she adorable? I love Midge's face. She has bright blue eyes that look forward, brown eyeshadow, black eyebrows and eyelashes. Midge has rose pink lips and freckles on her cheeks. Midge has auburn hair with a fringe. It is quite short and has a very 60s curl at the ends. This is what Midge's profile looks like and the back of her head. Midge came wearing a two-piece swimsuit. The top is bright yellow and the bottoms are bright orange. This is what Midge's swimsuit looks like from the back. Midge's hands are manicured. Her nails are a coral colour. Midge also has a bright pink metallic tag on her left wrist that says Genuine Midge by Mattel. Midge's outfit is complete with a pair of white mules with high heels. She also has a pedicure that matches her manicure. Here's what the mules look like from the back. Midge has a silkstone body. She feels well made and can rotate her arms and head 360 degrees. Midge can sit down. The only flaw with my Midge doll is a small red mark on her thigh. It doesn't bother me personally, but I thought that I should mention it. Here's Midge next to my 35th anniversary Barbie, who is a reproduction of the first Barbie doll released in 1959. I find it fascinating how different the two dolls' faces are from one another. I think that Barbie is more glamorous, whilst Midge is cuter. Both dolls are beautiful and I am very grateful to own them, but I prefer Midge's face. I adore her freckles. I am utterly delighted with Midge 
and I think that she is utterly adorable. She feels like a collector's doll, from the doll herself to the presentation of her box. My only complaint is the issue with Midge's stand, which is very frustrating. In conclusion, I would thoroughly recommend adding Midge to your doll collection if you are interested in vintage dolls or the history of Barbie, especially if you can get her on sale. Do you like Midge? Please tell me in the comment section. If you would like to find me on other social media sites, my usernames are listed here and in the video description. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If so, please consider liking it and subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.